Well, how are you doing? <clears throat> okay, this is going to be a short little video. Um, but it's going to be interesting to see what the answers are to this from our opposition on the globe side. <clears throat> uh, okay, hopefully you can hear me. I have to talk kind of low. Okay, this is about um, the Gleason's map being in opposition to um, the claim that we have a 24-hour Antarctic sun. I don't know if we have a 24-hour Antarctic sun. I've never seen any evidence th that supports it. Um, but that's the claim, right? Now, obviously, we have a 24-hour Arctic sun. I've seen loads of evidence for that. Um, but the claim is that we have a 24-hour Antarctic sun in the uh, southern summer. So um, let's get on with it, right? <coughs> the geographic south pole, right? The geographic south pole is located at 90 degrees south latitude. The station accommodates up to 25 people during the austral summer. Temperatures there average minus 60 degrees Fahrenheit year round, right? So, <clears throat> right here we are. Amundsen Scott, I uh, sorry, Amundsen, Amundsen Scott, South Pole Station. 90 degrees south, as you can see, 90 degrees south, established 1957. Someone standing there, here is the place behind them. NSF, the US National Science Foundation, welcomes you too, right? Next one. Now, take note, just as a sidebar, take note of the, uh, not that it really matters, but it's interesting. It's funny. Take note of this sign. Look at the next one. Different sign. <laughs> right. Geographic South Pole. Once again, American flag there. Um, can't really see this as well, um, but I wanted to show it because it's a different different sign. Now, I don't know how many signs they need <laughs> around this supposed base they have. Right. <laughs> I mean... I mean, how many people are going there? Like, you know what I mean? <laughs> Why would you need a different sign? Now, maybe they're claiming they get blown over, you know, but this looks like pretty much the same kind of sign, more or less, as that one, but they're different colors, and uh, the stuff on it is different, right? <laughs> so, different sign. Well, where's a different sign? It's nearly like as if it's in two different places. But anyway, uh, we move on. Here is another sign, it's different again, right? Geographic Zip Bowl, uh, uh, Roald Amundsen, Robert F. Scott, right? Uh, elevation 9,301 feet above sea level, blah, blah. Um, December 14, 1911, uh, January 17, 1912. This is, we so we arrived and were able to plant our flag at the Geographic Zip Bowl. Um, the pole, yes, but under very different circumstances from those expected. The pole, yes, but under very different circumstances from those expected. I don't know what that means. <laughs> it doesn't really matter. But anyway, here is a different sign. Now, maybe this is a sign purely dedicated to these two guys, Amazon and Scott. Don't know if that's really true. But uh, <clears throat> this is what they, this is, this is a sign, right? Again, another sign. Here is the, I think, Argentinian, fl Argentinian flag over here. And here we have the Japanese flag over here. And take note of this little uh, white and red pole here in the background. I've seen this in other videos and stuff, I think. And that's where they have a compass, supposedly, on or something. So here we are. Same one again. But there's no Japanese flag and Argentinian flag. Not in this photo. And that red and white pole is not seen. Uh, but it's the same. It's the same. Um, sign now maybe they have two of them right i don't know why you'd need two of them i mean that is the place they are that's the only thing supposedly they are so why would you need two of them and why would you need so far three different ones um <clears throat> so right that's just a sidebar doesn't matter it's just a funny little sidebar <laughs> how many signs do you need for yourself Paul? but anyway <laughs> this is stupid but anyway let's move on to gleason right <clears throat> so this is Gleason's um, June 24th solstice uh, depiction, right? You can have a look at it here. Now, let's read what this says. <clears throat> in the figures June and December, the white represents the sun's position in uh, in his his rep respective months at noon. Uh, this shows sunlight inside the Arctic so Circle for 24 hours. Uh, from June 24th, the sun moves, uh, moves round the tropics in a spirit circle, widening every day until it reaches its, desti its destiny on the southern or outer solstice on December 21st. Outer solstice, you know what I mean? Its destiny uh, widening every day, you know, a spiral circle widening every day. Why did Gleason describe it this way? I mean, 
even though the map is claimed to be, uh, and it is, for more, I, I could I couldn't claim that the that all the uh, continents, countries are are correct on that map. The latitude and longitude grid is one hundred percent correct. It is exactly as it should be. But the positions of the la the land and the uh, the continents and countries, I don't think are correct. And I made a video about that some while ago about longitude of reassignment. But anyway, that doesn't matter because he is literally describing what the sun is doing. Now, that is not what it does on a globe, is it? Right? It doesn't widen out. It, that's not what's happening. On a globe, it, I know that there is the 3 million mile difference between June 21st and December 21st. But that is not a widening out of a circle. Do you know what I mean? That's an, that's an elliptical orbit and the circle stays the same because the, the sun is not moving in that depiction, in that scenario. It's the globe out is rotating and has to rotate a little bit more, uh, a little bit more uh, than a full rotation each day to, you know, to, uh, for the start of the new um, solar noon or whatever, right? <clears throat> because so the, if, if folk, it sticks to sidereal time uh, sidereal rotation, which means that every year the globe is supposed to do 366 rotations for the 365 solar days, right? Because it has to match the, uh, um, which is a debunk of the globe anyway, because it has to match the uh, sidereal um, rotation, which is the stars, the celestials, the constellations, because <clears throat> they have to come back around to exactly where they started, which is a cycle, which <laughs> how does that fit as a heliocentric model? But anyway, this is all hilarious. So I just read it one more time. In the in the figures, June and December, the white represents this is the white here, right? Represents the sun's position in, in his respective months at noon. This shows sunlight inside the Arctic Circle, that's not, uh, for 24 hours from June 21st. The sun moves round the tropics in a spiral circle, widening every day until it reaches its destiny on the southern or outer solstice, right, on December 21st. Now people can make what they want out of that <clears throat> and they can say, well, he's only just describing it because that's the way the map is laid out and whatever. Make up whatever you want. <clears throat> but this is the main thing, right? Let's go to this. So this is the December solstice, right? <clears throat> Let's come down. Let's read what it says here. On December 21st, the sun moves around the Tropic of Capricorn and during the day lights up the southern portion of the Earth from the Arctic Circle to some portion on Antarctic ice, right? Sorry, sorry, from the Arctic Circle to some portion of Antarctic ice. Now, some portion of Antarctic ice. There is no sunlight beyond 80 degrees south, but unknown regions of ice, right? This is what he's claiming, right? There is no sunlight beyond 80 degrees south, but unknown regions of ice. On the 24th of, this, uh, 3rd of December, that's two days later, just like on the 21st of June, right? Uh, there's a two-day period, two, three-day period, on both solstices, or just after both solstices, where there is no change in the sun. The sun is the same position uh, for two or three days. There's no change in its position over the Earth, right? Um, on the 23rd of December, the sun commences his his northward journey again. I don't know what his. I know that the moon is kind of he, her, and the sun is kind of his. That's the way it's always described. Returning to his starting place, and thus completes his seasons, right? So, once again, there is no sunlight beyond 80 degrees south. Uh, uh, the portion of the Earth from the Antarctic from the Arctic Circle to some portion of Antarctic ice. So, so this, on the uh, 21st of December, the sun is lighting up part of the Arctic Circle and some portion of the Antarctic ice, right? So, there, and there was no sunlight beyond 80 degrees south, right? All right, so let's just go back here. Ninety degrees south, <laughs> right? What a load of nonsense! Right. <laughs> here we are, ninety degrees south, right? Let's go again, right? Ninety degrees south, right? Ninety degrees south, ninety degrees south. I mean, right? Sorry, I mean this. That's some. That's some um, flood like they have. <laughs> Uh, I, I even had a video I wanted to play as part of this, but it was Natural Geographic, and you know where they are. As soon as you, 
as soon as you play out from them, they want to just strike you or cause your chat, even though I'm not monetized, they still want to cause me a problem, especially if I'm detailing their lies, um, which is the only thing I could call it. Because <clears throat> either Gleason is completely wrong and his whole map is completely wrong, or they're a little liars, right? One or the other. <clears throat> so just to finish off, I just want to show here, there is the two portions, right? So, right, let me just get um, this. I just changed the color of it to mm, maybe maybe red, right? And I'm just going to match this one here, right? Uh, that's close enough, right? Now I'm going to pull it over to here, and as you can see, the sun on the twenty-first of I'm just going to try and match it up to that. The sun on the 21st of June covers a much bigger area, according to Gleason. I pointed this out years ago, right? I'm sure other people have. It's a common thing, but the sun on the 21st of June covers a much bigger area than on the 21st of December. Now, it is also claimed, right, if you look at something here, the sun here looks, right, smaller, and this one looks slightly bigger, right? It is also claimed that the sun is higher in the sky on June 21st. Right, and lower in the sky on December 21st. So the sun, if it was higher, would cover a bigger area. It's like if you take a flashlight, I'm not saying the sun's a flashlight, I don't know what it is. If you take a flashlight and keep it close to the floor, it'll light up a smaller area. If you raise that up, the the uh, expand the light will uh, ex the area the light covers is greater, there's a greater expansion. So is it that the sun is he showing the sun smaller here because in the on June twenty first the, the sun appears to be higher, and on December twenty first it looks bigger because it appears to be lower. I don't know. Um, I don't know what the sun is, but I mean according to Gleason, this is what's going on. Um, I can't say for definite that it is, but as you can see, the area that the sun covers is a, definitely a lot smaller on uh, December twenty first because this is matching that. So. That's the end of the video. Uh, it'll be interesting to see what uh, <laughs> what what responses we get. Uh, this is always a hot topic. <laughs> Twenty four Arctic so Antarctic so <laughs> What a joke. See you later. Thanks.